Hello, this is Divine Sunshine coming to you with a karmic slash third party energy thing, but it's more so the karmic, which would be the third energy as well. Um, I got influenced by, I was watching a video that was talking about the karmics, and I pretty much had said that on this show, uh, on this channel about karmics and the lesson and the objective in which they serve. Um, she brought up some other things, and I'm not going to really bring on the controversial slant um, that she had put on here because of um, comment that I had gotten earlier this morning about um, my DM channeled message. However, what it has done has um, given me an idea that I will move forward in some things that I feel that are kind of like time, I won't say time sensitive, or even controversial um that i will be putting them on patreon um instead um so that a way that those that are interested that are really serious and understand where i'm coming from and my um way of delivery of things and my craft and my gift it will be more appreciated um on there um so those things that i think that can be shared among you all i will continue to put it on here but those things that i think that have more controversial thing uh I, I, last the name uh as uh tiffany had to say some of you all say she ready no some of y'all ain't ready <laughs> on, on that um that part and those who are really serious to do that uh i will kind of start moving into that arena or um putting it someplace else um because of it it needs to be safeguarded and i need it to be heard the things that the powers that be are bringing to me when i say powers that be on this channel that is because it has been brought to me uh an understanding and that's one good thing there was two good things that was brought on there that i need to find other arenas to get my message out there and the second thing is to really make sure that i'm breaking down what i am actually saying so you can understand the basics of it so those of you all that's new to this channel new to this walk when i speak of the powers that be the powers that be is plainly saying that when we think about source and energy and the higher realms and how we get our information some of us are getting our sources from different or information from different sources there's not just one source that this is coming from you got your angels you got your guides you got a whole bunch of plethora of things ancestors all of those are beings and that's why i call it the powers that be because you're getting it from all different if i would tell you the different aspects that you're getting them from and to describe them is not any kind of way or form to re be able to really describe who they are and what they are all I just know is that, again, that they're not coming from a lower entity. But, again, they said they liked me using the word the powers that be because that was pretty much the best way to describe all of the sources of light or light beings that all play a part as far as getting that information to us. You, we, even if you read and listened to my uh, morning drive, you've seen even the sun has a way to, of influencing us and giving us information that downloads to help us with our intuition and our awareness. So we get power or we get information from various sources. And that's why I say the powers that be. So they help for those of you all to get kind of clarification and understanding as to where some of us spiritual guides are getting our information. There are different various sources in which the information is. But we do know for one thing that it is filtrated in a positive and coming from a good place it's not coming from other places uh that do not belong now back to what we're talking about the comic situation i've always said that comic word the word comma is not the new bad word or the new f word that everybody cannot be saying and we it's not the connotation to saying the comic is a b now some ways these lessons when we're thinking about karma karma are some things that you have put out there or a way in which you've asked the universe to help you to create that balance within yourself or to help you to come into the best version of yourself to kind of whip you in shape sometimes those karmic lessons do come in the form of being a, a beast or a bitch 
whatever you want to say, beep <laughs> as well. Because maybe some of you all, just like some of my, um, one of my readers I had went to about my divine masculine, my guy, and said that he likes to have those hard towers. Some of us like to have that, like my mom said, old folks say in the African American uh, community, uh, a hard head makes a soft ass. Some of them, they got to get that kind of beaten for them to understand. Um, that you got to move and you can't stay in that comfort zone because you're not having growth. You're staying stagnated. Sometimes in those common situations, you do that. Sometimes you ask for that in agreement and you have that. So that's where they talk about those karmic contracts or those agreements that saying, okay, now if we don't get it at this point, let's call in this person. And sometimes the person that you have is you've had past uh, experiences with, or sometimes they are higher soulmate, a high functioning soulmate that say, I can really actually get this job done. Now, I liked how the young lady had said in the, in the, um, in the uh, message, and I've always said that even on my channel, that sometimes what you have to be taught by your divine counterpart, you are not the person to do it. You can't do it. Like I said, with me and my divine master, I love him too much. And some of the hard lessons that he want me, almost like a person say s and &M, that part and hitting and whipping and choking and all that extra stuff to be doing that, to get somebody out of their comfort zone and to really have that high and to be able to move on to the next level in the sin, I am not the one in some aspects. Now, in some aspects, I'm pretty darn good. I can go speak fluent karmic and I can get them out of that thing and say, okay, nope, that ain't going to work. But there's a lot of things that the karmic can only bring that to the table and to learn. She brought up this saying because we are being the divine counterpart of the one who's awakened. We're coming from a place of love and we're too high with that being able to give them that lesson that because where they want us to go they we got to get like low it's like you know gangster like on the street pull up them sleeves take out the earrings put the vaseline on and some of us will say uh i've been there i've done that um i've done my chakra work i've done my practice i don't go there anymore um that's not me <laughs> i uh pray it out i meditate it out i'm not gonna stay it you know like you really want me to go and push up my, i don't i don't i'm sorry that's gonna put me in spiritual harm for me to go back to that kind of way so at the end walks the car and come say oh no problem i got this boo baby we gonna take off the earrings and all this jewelry we're gonna push up there and i'm ready to go ahead and do the one two punch on them, and do the okie doke and do the daggone uh muhammad ali on them with no problem and we right saying nah i'm sorry i've been there done that i don't do that anymore that's the old me you know so from that come from that place they need somebody in the mirror we're actually those who have been awakened and mirroring where would they need them to be sometimes that's a little high above their head and they're not ready to hear that and so somebody who speaks fluent karmic and they're already in that lower vibration trying to awaken but not quite understanding it they look at the karmic and say oh well you speak my language kind of quite fluent so you know we get down you know this is this hey you my kind of people until they find out and they have their own awakening saying um this ain't me i thought you were speaking my language you really seem like you were but after the arguments uh, the things that they're doing and those things, as she explained, is a way in which they are actually mirroring back to them how they had treated us. I'll, I'll share the video because I want her to get credit for that. Uh, how they're mirroring back to us, what they, how the karmic is mirroring back to the divine counterpart, how they treated us, the ones who have been awakened. So in some ways, you're saying karma, what goes around comes back around. That's how you kind of the street or the, the street way of saying it. And it's coming right back around to bite them in their behind. Some of you always say, boy, it's another way of saying it. it's coming right back around to teach them. Undo it. Interference, get out. Uh, you know, I'm going to come back again. 